Next, we head to Madison, Wisconsin for a sentencing. 24-year-old Chandler Halderson has been convicted on two counts of first-degree intentional homicide, two counts of providing false information regarding a missing person, two counts of mutilating a corpse, and two counts of hiding a corpse. The victims, 50 and 53-year-old Bart and Krista Halderson, the defendant's parents. Eight months earlier, Halderson was living at his parents' home, spending most of his time playing video games. He'd been lying to them about attending college and working for an insurance company. He also told his girlfriend that he was offered a job at SpaceX. When his father figured out that he was lying, Halderson shot his dad in the back, killing him instantly. And when his mother returned home later that day, he shot and killed her too. A few days later, Halderson reported his parents missing and told police they'd been vacationing at a lake house and that he'd been unable to contact them. The defendant even spoke to the media and asked for the public's help in finding his parents. What can people do to, to help find them? Just maybe get the word out that, hey, maybe tell them to call their kids so we know they're all right. The same day Halderson gave that interview, part of his father's dismembered body was discovered in a rural area a few miles from the family's home. Remains of both victims were later found in different locations throughout the Madison area, including in the family's fireplace. Police also discovered several pieces of physical evidence that incriminated Halderson, including a broken saw blade, newly purchased cleaning products, and a gun hidden in the family's basement, which investigators believed was the murder weapon. Police soon charged Halderson with the murders. He pled not guilty. The case went to trial, and after both sides rested, the jury took just two hours to return with a verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Chandler M. Halderson, guilty of first-degree intentional homicide. Six months later, Halderson appears before Judge John Highland to hear his sentence. Because of the seriousness of the crime and the fact that there's no death penalty in Wisconsin, Halderson is guaranteed a life sentence. The only remaining question is, will he ever be eligible for parole? Prosecutor William Brown argues against it. Mr. Halderson, by all accounts, chose to commit the crime of first-degree intentional homicide twice on a single day because he was caught lying about where he was working and going to school. And then over the course of several days, chose to cut up those people's bodies and spread them around the state. I don't know how you protect the public from someone like that. It's my position that he should never be released from prison. The defense argues that because of the defendant's young age, he should be given a chance to rehabilitate and eventually earn parole. Before the judge makes his ruling, the defendant, who did not take the stand at trial, speaks for the first time in court and shows no remorse. Your Honor, I want to take this opportunity to state my intent to appeal my convictions. If there are any lawyers listening and willing to take on my appeal, take a moment to please reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, it's Judge Highland's turn to make a statement and issue his ruling on Halderson's chance for parole. I have to ensure that the only time Mr. Halderson comes back into the community is to have the privilege of a burial that he denied his parents. And so I sentence him to life in prison. I find that he is not to be eligible for extended supervision during that course. Halderson was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. He was able to retain a new lawyer and is appealing the verdict. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.